Hello and welcome to this Python 2 video tutorial. What we're going to look at today is how to install a module called Beautiful Soup. So the first thing we need to do is go off to our web browser and Google. Okay, on Google what we need to do is type in Python and then Beautiful Soup. The first option that comes up, the crummy.com, give that a click and you can have a read about what Beautiful Soup does. Essentially it's just used for scraping data. That's what I use it for anyway. So look for the option to download. And the most current release is Beautiful Soup 432, so let's download that one. That's 43 and 432. So that's just going to download. So I'm just going to have a look in my downloads. Yep, there it is. So I'm just going to give that a click. And the data from that zip file or that tar file is all in here. So what I need to do now is go to the terminal and change directory to this directory here. If you're not sure how to get to the directory or what the directory is called, just right click on one of the files inside that folder and choose get info. And you can see here it's got the option for where. So I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to start my terminal. So I'll close that down. So I'm just going to go to the search and type in terminal. And there we go, it's come up. So what I'm going to do is change directory. So to do that, type in cd and then paste the address that you copied earlier. And now we're inside that beautiful soup folder. So what we need to do now is type in the word Python, followed by setup.py, which is a file inside that folder, and then type in the word install. Press enter, and it will go through, and you'll see all this extra stuff up here, and that's just installed the package for you. To test it, just go to your Python IDLE, Okay, so from your IDLE, type in from ES4 import beautiful soup and press enter. And hopefully then you'll just get a nice blank line underneath, which means it's worked. If it doesn't work, you'll get an error message. Let's just show you what one would look like from, let's say, soup import all. There we go. So if it went wrong, you'd have an error similar to this. It just means it didn't install properly. So go back and try and reinstall the module. Hopefully this has been useful. We'll show you how to use it in a later video tutorial. Thank you for watching.